can I'm sorry, I can't read. Your Bubba is, is having fun in the car. Yeah. But I don't with you. I just go and have it on there. And every time my dad did oh. say so. Hmm. <gasps> oh, our light turned green. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. What do you want to say, Bubba? Bubba's great. He's almost ready for his nap. Yeah, yeah. What could Bubba be doing? Silly Bubba. Come on, let's be going. Okay. Bubba, we don't eat the steering wheel. We don't eat the steering wheel, Bubby. Baby, baby, Bubba needs a steering wheel to drive. I know, but he tries to eat it. Are we supposed to eat the car? It's okay if he eats my new retro car. Why? Because if I bite it, I will clean it. Okay. Come on with the green. Go on and I'm deep. Chubs?
sleeping at his first nap, which is typically the longest. So I thought it would be a good time for us to do some crafts and to play with a toy. So we were sent this package to review. Um, it is a fun little toy for Aubrey. So let me go ahead and open this up. I think we'll end up using it like tonight when it gets a little bit darker and you guys will see why. What is it, Mommy? We're gonna find out. Mommy, I'm so wet. We bought this pack of fun and carry it. I hope you is that it's nice. That is that. very nice. Why, Mommy? That you wanna help. Mommy, look at this little little piece. Look, Mommy, see? Mm-hmm. So at the time of us reviewing this, I don't think this product is on Amazon yet, but when it is I will make sure to put the link to the product. Um, we actually got two of them so that we could play together. And it is this cool dinosaur headlamp. So it comes in a little box like this. We got two of them. Mommy, mm -hmm. can I play with these? Yes, we will. So we got the piece that actually goes like on your head based on the snugness. I think it would definitely fit a kid's head and it will fit mine with some adjustment. Oh my gosh, that looks silly. Ah, my hair! Look at my hair! And it comes with a little uh, dinosaur head to put on it too. <laughs> Look at that, Aubrey. Okay, so the dinosaur, like the um, light will shine out of the dinosaur's mouth, which is pretty funny. And it comes with a little USB charger. It looks like the one that actually charges my computer, which is kind of cool. So it looks like we charge this at the bottom of like the dinosaur's head and it has a little on off switch. And then we just slide this in once it's all charged to the little headlamp thing. And let me uh, make it a little bit bigger for my big head and try this on for you guys. Rah! You know, this will be really fun to play with outside when it's dark outside. Mom. Because when we wear it like this, the light is going to shine out and we can see where we're going. <laughs> so aside from me looking silly, I actually think it's a very comfortable fit. And like the stretchiness of the headband is pretty comfortable. Uh, even though you have this like plastic up against your forehead, that really doesn't bother me. I think it's just a matter of like getting a nice fit to your head. But yeah, I just got one of these because we got two of them so we can play. Yeah, we got two of them so that we could play together and not just have Aubrey play alone. So it looks like there actually might be some more features that I wasn't aware of, which is kind of cool. So it's rechargeable. The red light is on for charging and off for full. So there is a red light somewhere. Probably, yeah, right next to the charger, there's like a little hole. Okay, so you push the switch to the middle for silent mode and the to the end for sound mode. So apparently it makes sounds, which is pretty cool. We press the lower jaw of the dinosaur to open the dinosaur headlight. So you can press like this. It says in silent mode, press once. The LED light glows with the eyes at the same time. Press again to turn off. Press twice in a row, the LED light and eyes flashlight. And then press once to close. We got these for us to play. It actually has a light and it's pretty cool. We didn't know that I have. All right, so it looks like obviously we can't use this right now because we need to charge it. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge these guys inside while we work on our next activity, which I'm also really excited for. And then we will check back in a little bit later to show you guys how these guys work and um, the different types of fun games that we've decided to come up with and play with these. I do think it would be fun. My family would always play like what we would call the dark game, which is just like hide and go seek, but in the dark. <laughs> we would play that around our house and like there's a few times where someone just had the best hiding spot and we still don't know where they hid like they were never found uh, obviously they came out of their hiding spot but we still don't know where it is so Brian I would really like to know where that was in the house anyways this might be a fun like little addition to the dark game when uh, you have like a little kid who maybe doesn't want to be in complete darkness for hide and go seek so let's go ahead and open up this one and charge it. And I'm so excited. Well, now it's mine. Yeah, this one's yours. I'm going to open the dinosaur head. Okay. We just got the sweater dinosaur head. Mommy also got one. So I guess one of the sweater dinosaur head in there. I guess it will be pretty cool. 
Probably it will be. All right. I'm going to go charge this and you pick out your favorite colors for the craft, okay? I pick this. I pick all of these colors, Mommy. You already picked them? Yeah. And you pick these bowling colors. Oh, okay. So what are we are going to do? We are going to do this now. Okay. Mom, we're going to do these now? Yes. Okay. Can I do on paper? No. What we're going to do is we're actually going to draw on this. So I get a piece. Yeah. Oh, you cut a piece already? <laughs> because I got to cut it. So this is the leftover from the top of the croissant platter that we had yeah. at her birthday. And I've seen people like color on these and then put them in the oven and have them shrink down and like make, I guess it's called shrinky dinks. So I've always wanted to try this. My mommy knows I can't. What? I can't tea -tea -tea -tea. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I've always wanted to try this and we're gonna give this a try today. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna cut it in half so that Aubrey gets one and I get one. And we're gonna create a design. So we're just using some Sharpies that I had on hand. Um, and again, this little plastic lid, and I think we have some more. So if it turns out okay, we might be doing more of this. I don't need this color, Mommy. Okay. These are your colors, and these are my colors. What do I want to draw? I want to draw a rainbow. You Why know, that might be kind of fun. I'll draw a rainbow, too. Why? Because you love rainbows? Because I love your ideas. <laughs> yeah. You know you love my ideas. Cute idea. Mm -hmm. Is it good if we mix the colors, Mommy? Look, I don't mix mine. Um, try not to, but if you mix it, it won't be the end of the world. Yeah. Good job putting the lid back on, Aubrey. Do you want to get so? Uh, yeah, in a little bit. Hold on. Okay. Now, pinky. Should my clouds be clear or should they be purple? What do you think? They could be purple. Purple clouds? Okay, perfect. So my design is done. How am mine? Well, I don't know, are you done? No. Okay, well then you keep working on it. So now that my design is done, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of cut out around it. Mom, I'm in. Ooh, yes. Do you wanna cut out around it or do you want mommy to? You. Because you are a best mommy. <gasps> I'm missing on the thing. Mommy, uh -huh. I'm missing dark blue. I'm missing dark blue, mommy. Hopefully this will turn out okay. Another thing that you could do is like print out like a picture. We got these little Elsas from her party and put it underneath and then just trace it. And then you'd have like a smaller version, assuming this shrinks the way it's supposed to. So that is one option. You could do like hand prints and then have it shrink and just have those little memorabilia from that time in your life. And you can make little ornaments that way. So there's a lot that you could do with these. I just really hope that this is successful. I've never done this before, but at any time I see it, I'm always like, oh, I gotta try that. Okay, we'll cut this out. Are you not done? You said you're done. Are you done now? No, I'm just such a way because I'm such a way there because I don't know which colors I'm needing. Oh, okay. Next color. Give me a color. Uh, I'm just saying. Wow, are you next done now? Color, next color. So when we are all done cutting out and drawing and whatever, um, next color. <laughs> I think we're throwing it in the oven at like 350 um, Fahrenheit and leaving it in just for just two or two to four minutes or four to six minutes. Next color. And if I change anything up and realize, oh, it's too hot or it's too cold or whatever, I will let you guys know. But that is what we are going to give a try. Do you like mine? It's beautiful. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Can you tell me about your creation? Mommy, it's a house. It's a house? Me? And who lives in the house? A bunnies. A bunnies? Yes. Look at that blue house. Aww. A bunny. Mommy, that's a tree. So mm -hmm. I can open them again and open them with two paws. Hmm. But they're walking away. All right, time
time to put them on the parchment paper and watch them shrink up. So we got our parchment paper, laid these guys out, kind of spacing them, and I anticipate in our time lapse, it's gonna like kind of curl up and then get shrunk and become flat again. So that's what we're looking for. The oven is preheating. So as soon as that is ready, we will see a cute little time lapse of these guys hopefully shrinking. So something cool happened. The plastic like totally turned white, <laughs> which I wasn't expecting, but these are not as small as I was anticipating. I thought they would be a lot smaller. My heart totally curled up and probably, you know, it's gonna be like that forever. I mean, I like how this turned out. It's just, they're not really shrinky dinks. They're like, you know, kind of got a couple millimeters smaller dinks. So while those are cooling and while the dinosaurs are charging, I'm gonna be doing some editing because I have, and hopefully by the time you're watching this, the videos will already be out, but I have all the party prep videos to edit and it's like four hours for one video, probably many more hours for another. So lots and lots of footage. And I will let Aubrey watch a show while I do that since I don't get a lot of just quiet time during the day and I need a lot of time this week to edit. So that's what I'm gonna be doing, but I will check back in with our dinosaurs and our shrinky dinks in a little bit. You having fun, Bubs? Are you having fun? Huh? You looking for this? Yeah, you wanna eat this, I know. You take it off all the time. Go get the baby. Who's that? Who's that? Okay, so we're checking back in. These have cooled down. Nothing smudges off. They have that like white background firmed up a bit. This one never recovered, so rest in peace, you little heart. <laughs> but I like my rainbow. In looking at the time-lapse video again, they do like shrink down a little bit, but I was anticipating like a much bigger shrinkage. I think if I were to do this again, I would probably just draw a picture like a two inch by two inch square and then let it get a little bit smaller than that. But Aubrey seemed to be really happy with her little product here. So I'm gonna go ahead and let her, you know, play with all of these in her room. And then these dinosaurs are pretty much done charging. So let's see, I think if I go to the middle switch, then when you press this, the light turns on and you see like the little eyes and then you can like crunch, you know, the little mouth again and it turns it off. And then if you go all the way on the switch down here, then when you do this, <laughs> it like makes that sound twice and the light stays on and then you can turn it off again the same way. I prefer just the light, but I know that there are a bunch of kids out there that would enjoy the little growling of the, <laughs> of the dinosaur. So when it gets a little bit darker, Aubrey and I will probably put on our headbands and act like dinosaurs outside. Okay guys, it's dark and we're ready. Yeah. All right, let me get you your dinosaur, okay? Ah, uh, yawn. All right, let's... Daddy, because I'm tired. <laughs> How does this feel? Snug? Yeah. Snug yeah. as a bug in a rug? Yeah. All right, so now what I want you to do is I want you to go... <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you can um, double click and it will strobe light for you as well. But anyways, that is an option. So I'm going to keep the solid. Uh, Aubrey, are you ready to go outside? Yeah. Okay. Is that a treasure map? Let's try to find a clue, okay? Yeah. Don't be close to it. It's just dead. Who's gonna go that way? So there, mommy. Mommy, there, mommy. You gonna go that way? Yeah. Okay. Get me on the ground. Mommy, wait! I can't see in the dark. Look, mommy. It's <laughs> day. You know who is there? Oh, Aubrey, the clues. Oh, so silly. I didn't see 
that without my headlamp. Find a cricket? Yes. Mommy, this is the chicken. Look, Mommy. Wow. It's look, Mommy, it's here. What a cool rock. What a cool treasure. Aubrey, how cool. We found the chicken. I don't think we could have found it at night without your headlamp, I mean, huh? Here, shine your light so I can see it better on the camera. Wow, what a pretty cool treasure. I got some flying seeds. I was just looking for them too. Just put it up and then we go. Okay. I want to look at the map again. We can see where we go for. Mommy, I'm not just going to go in this big pile of mud. Ew. Come on, let's be good. I'd like to thank Dysame for sponsoring today's video and providing us with a lot of fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.